It's a sad reality that there are some people who just absolutely will not believe in Jesus. Regardless of the amount of evidence that is presented to them that he is the Son of God and that the message of the gospel is the saving power, there are some who just absolutely refuse, who will not place their faith in Christ Jesus. As Isaiah had prophesied, the Spirit of the Lord was with Jesus, and this was apparent to all through the healing miracles that he performed. Crowds came to see and to hear, and Jesus healed many of those that were sick. Well, one day while Jesus was teaching, some men brought their paralyzed friend to Jesus to see if he might be able to be healed. And there were so many people that they could not even get near Jesus. So these men went up onto the roof of the house where Jesus was. And houses in those days had a flat roof with outside stairs so they could easily get there. Well, once on the roof, they made a hole into the roof and they lowered this man down in front of where Jesus was. In my opinion, this is one of the most interesting of all the miracles that Jesus performed. We simply have to wonder what was going through the minds of those people sitting in that house as they see this hole open up in the ceiling and they see a man let down on ropes to where he could be right in front of Jesus. The way in which Jesus interacted with this paralyzed man is also very interesting. Instead of simply healing this man... Jesus said to him, your sins are forgiven. Now this sounds a bit strange to us, but it made sense to those present. So often in those days, sin and suffering were connected in Jewish thinking with illness and disability. They were seen as a form of punishment from God. And this was the misunderstanding of Job and his friends and On at least one occasion, Jesus' own followers expressed this view in John 9, verses 1 and 2. There were some religious leaders, though, that were present on that day who were carefully watching Jesus. And when he told this man that his sins were forgiven, they were scandalized by Jesus' words and believed that he had committed blasphemy right in front of this great multitude of people by speaking as if he were God. They correctly pointed out that only God could forgive sins, but they failed to recognize that Jesus was one with God and was thus able to forgive sins. In the end, to show that he did have authority to forgive sins, Jesus demonstrated his power by healing this man. And everyone, except for these religious leaders, were amazed by the miracle that was performed and they began to praise God because of it. Well, immediately following this in Luke's account is the story of Levi, or we know him commonly as Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector, and in those days, tax collectors were on the same level with rank sinners. It's just an occupation that you did not want to have. They were despised individuals. And Levi was probably one of the least likely individuals to become a follower of Jesus. Yet when Jesus called him, he left everything behind in order to follow Jesus. Both of these stories, the healing of the paralyzed man and the calling of Levi, are both stories of faith. First, there was the faith of those determined men who brought their friend to Jesus. Then there is Levi who had faith enough to walk away from his old life to become a follower of Jesus. Now, contrasted with these examples of faith is the unbelief of the religious leaders who saw the miracle, but they failed to accept Jesus as the Son of God. Friends, we want to thank you for joining us for our program today. We pray that you will consider these things that we have discussed. As well, we would like to invite you to worship with us on Sunday at the Pyburn Street Church of Christ. Bible classes start at 9 o'clock, Sunday worship at 9.50. 
We hope that God blesses you with a wonderful day and a blessed weekend ahead.